Hey NFL fans, I'm Scott Colbranson from SportsNot.com, and today we're diving into one of the most intriguing aspects of the NFL offseason, the legal tampering period. Whether you're a diehard fan or just love following the business side of football, understanding this period is key to grasping how teams build their rosters for the upcoming season. So let's dive right in. Before we delve into what the legal tampering period is, let's take a quick look back at how it came about. Traditionally, the start of the NFL's new league year in March also signaled the beginning of free agency, a frenzied period where teams could start signing players from other teams. However, it was no secret that discussions and negotiations would often start unofficially well before this date. To address this open secret and to level the playing field, the NFL officially introduced the legal tampering period in 2013. This period begins three days before the start of the league new year, which begins the 14th of March this year, allowing teams to legally enter into negotiations with the agents of players who are set to become unrestricted free agents. So how does it work? Well, during this 48 to 72 hour window, teams, well, they could discuss all the contract details with the agents of impending free agents. However, there is a catch folks, no deals can be officially signed until the new league year begins. This period essentially serves as a prelude to free agency, allowing teams and players to agree in principle on deals. There's really three parts to this. Number one, the pre-free agency negotiations. Again, teams can negotiate with agents of upcoming unrestricted free agents. Number two, no signings are allowed. Deals can be agreed upon in principle, but cannot be officially signed until the new league year starts, March 14th. Leveling the playing field aims to reduce under the table deals and ensure fairness. While the legal tampering period has indeed brought transparency and fairness to the process, it has also sparked debates about its effectiveness and the continued existence of unofficial discussions. As we've seen, the legal tampering period is a critical time for teams looking to make a splash in free agency. It sets the stage for the official start of the new league year with many deals being announced minutes after the free agency period officially begins. For fans, it's an exciting glimpse into the strategic moves their favorite teams are making to bolster their roster for the upcoming season. All right, so there you have it, a little quick primer on it. Thanks for joining me to explore the intricacies of the NFL legal tampering period. For more insights into the NFL and all your favorite sports, stay tuned to sportsnot.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel here and stay tuned for all our free agency coverage. I'm Scott Colbranson. I'll see you next time.